LED lights are everywhere, from homes and offices to street lights and car headlights. These small but powerful sources of illumination have revolutionized the way we use light, offering energy efficiency, long lifespans, and a range of colors. But have you ever wondered how LED lights are actually made? What goes into creating these tiny diodes that produce bright, long-lasting light? In this video, we'll take you through the fascinating process of manufacturing LED lights, from raw materials to the finished product, right here on History of Simple Things. Before we dive into the manufacturing process, let's quickly go over what an LED actually is. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode, a semiconductor device that emits light when an electric current passes through it. Unlike traditional incandescent bulbs that generate light by heating a filament, LEDs work by electroluminescence. This means they produce light without producing much heat, making them far more energy efficient. LEDs are also different from compact fluorescent lamps, which rely on gas and phosphor coatings to generate light. Instead, LEDs use semiconductor materials to produce different colors of light directly, making them versatile and efficient. The core of an LED is a semiconductor chip, usually made from gallium nitride or other compound semiconductors. When electricity flows through the chip, electrons and holes recombine in the material, releasing energy in the form of photons, or light. By using different materials in the semiconductor, manufacturers can produce LEDs that emit different colors from red and blue to warm white and cool white. This principle is the foundation of LED technology, and it dictates how LEDs are designed and manufactured. The first step in making an LED is producing the semiconductor wafer. This is done in a highly controlled environment, usually in a clean room, where conditions are tightly regulated to prevent contamination. The process starts with a substrate, typically made of sapphire, silicon carbide, or silicon. On this substrate, layers of semiconductor materials are grown using a technique called metal organic chemical vapor deposition. In this process, special gases containing gallium, nitrogen, and other elements are introduced into a high temperature chamber. These gases react to form ultra-thin crystalline layers on the substrate, each carefully engineered to control the LED's electrical and optical properties. The thickness of these layers is measured in nanometers, requiring extreme precision. This step is crucial because the semiconductor layers determine the LED's efficiency, brightness, and color. Once the wafer is complete, it undergoes testing to ensure the material has the desired properties before moving on to the next stage. Once the semiconductor wafer is grown and tested, it is sliced into tiny individual chips. These chips, known as LED dyes, are the actual light-emitting components of an LED. To do this, manufacturers use a diamond-tipped saw or laser-cutting technology to precisely cut the wafer into thousands of microscopic chips. Each of these chips is just a fraction of a millimeter in size, but holds the key to producing bright and efficient light. After cutting, the individual LED dyes undergo an etching process to shape them and optimize their electrical characteristics. They are also coated with a layer of reflective material to enhance light extraction, ensuring that more of the generated photons escape from the LED instead of being absorbed within the semiconductor. Once the LED chips are ready, they must be mounted onto a base to form a functional LED package. This is typically done by attaching each LED die to a small circuit board or lead frame using a conductive adhesive or soldering process. The circuit board serves as the foundation for the LED, 
providing both electrical connections and a means of dissipating heat. At this stage, the LED is also wired to ensure proper electrical connections. Tiny gold or aluminum bonding wires are used to connect the LED chip to the circuit, allowing current to flow through the semiconductor material. These connections must be made with extreme precision as any defects could result in a faulty LED. Once the wiring is complete, the LED package undergoes electrical testing to ensure it functions properly before proceeding to the next step. To protect the delicate LED chip and improve its light output, the LED is encapsulated in a clear or diffused epoxy resin. This encapsulation serves multiple purposes. It shields the LED from environmental factors, enhances light dispersion, and improves durability. The shape of the encapsulation also plays a role in controlling the direction of the emitted light, influencing factors such as beam angle and brightness distribution. For white LEDs, an additional step is required, applying a phosphor coating. Since LEDs naturally produce light in specific wavelengths, a phosphor layer is used to convert some of this light into a broader spectrum, creating white light. After the LED chips are encapsulated and tested, they are ready to be assembled into usable lighting products. This stage involves integrating the LED package into various lighting designs, from small indicator lights to large LED panels and bulbs. The LED components are mounted onto heat sinks, which help dissipate heat and improve longevity. Proper thermal management is essential, as excessive heat can degrade LED performance and shorten its lifespan. LED bulbs also require additional components, such as drivers and diffusers. These components are carefully assembled into a final product, ready for consumer use. Once the LEDs pass quality control, they are packaged and distributed for commercial and residential use. They are sold in various forms, from LED bulbs and strip lights to industrial-grade floodlights and automotive headlights. The final product represents a combination of precision engineering, advanced semiconductor technology, and innovative designs. LED lights have completely changed the way we illuminate our world. From their intricate manufacturing process to their impressive energy efficiency, LEDs are a testament to the power of modern engineering. The journey from raw materials to finished LED products involves precise semiconductor fabrication, delicate assembly, and rigorous quality control, ensuring that each LED delivers reliable performance. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.